Hello, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. How are you all? This is Dr. Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry from Infinity Lane. This is valence bond theory. Today we are going to discuss about the valence bond theory. VBT is more important and amazing topic from chemical bonding applications of this valence bond theory is very important and you can see the same valence theory in coordination complexes as well. You are going to get at least two questions from neat examination based on VBT and uh, grab to 4 to 8 marks in neat examination. Get ready for that and before going for the session, I just want to talk about score examination, India's largest scholarship examination. Why it is said to be India's largest scholarship examination? Because this examination is providing you the scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees. And also a gift study setup and a laptop for the students who are deserved for that and also educational elements and uh, scholarship up to 100% opted for the course depending upon your performance and why late in the description box link is available. You can just click it and the registration form bardo and you can enjoy the score examination. And one more important thing to write this score examination, you may be related to Infinity Learn or maybe from any other school or an institute, you still you are eligible to write this score examination. And this score examination is only online. You can sit at home and you can write and grab all the privileges. So let's make success possible from the support from the Infinity Learn. And link is given in the description box. You all just click it and enjoy score examination all the best and also <coughs> NEET 2025 all india test series pack whenever you are preparing for some examination it is important for the assessment of a particular concept or a particular topic so for that assessment you need to have a test series so infinity learn is designed a scientifically organized test series pack that is all India test series pack for NEET 2025, which includes 27 AITS exams, 13 unit test, 4 part test and grant test. And it is purely based on NEET pattern. And 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test and 25 NEET topic wise PYQs and 3 PCB books, physics chemistry books along with video solutions on the app and also <coughs> Detailed solutions and performance reports for every test meticulously is done. Last but not least, your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya. And Itna Sara facilities calling in India, Infinity Line is given for 5999. Still, if you apply YouTube 50 coupon code, YouTube 50 off coupon code, you are going to get 50% discount and it is coming to be 2999 and it is a limited time offer and you just click it and apply youtube 50 off and you can enjoy this test series pack for 299 enjoy all the best for your neat examination and we'll start valence bond theory <coughs> according to this theory a covalent bond is formed by overlapping of atomic orbitals between the bonded atoms and this Concept is developed by Hitler and London. Later, it is uh, extended by Pauling and Slater. Let us see the view of Hitler and London first, and we'll see Pauling and Slater. So, Hitler and London concept first for a covalent bond to form, atom must come close to each other. The atom should have unpaid electrons, and the orbitals of the unpaid electrons should overlap to give rise a covalent bonds. And this overlapping orbital must be the off filled and they should have opposite spin and they should have an appropriate orientation and appropriate energy. And as a result of overlapping, a new localized bonding orbital is formed and in which the probability of finding of an electron between the atoms nuclei is maximum. And also covalent energy, the covalent bond energy arises due to electrostatic attraction forces and the repulsion between the electrons of the bonded atoms and also the spin and anti-spin electrons. He wanted to say, Hitler and London wanted to say, greater the extent of overlapping, so stronger is the bond and more overlapping, 
more extent of overlapping more is going to be the electron cloud accumulated between the atoms so that it is going to have the stronger is the bond so these overlappings are two types coal axial overlapping mean to say the bond formed along the axis that is called a sigma bond and the collateral overlapping sideways overlapping that is what you say a pi bond and let us see pauling and slater extension according to them <coughs> nature of orbitals involved in the overlapping nature of overlapping decides the extent of overlapping i wanted to say more closer the valence shells of the nucleus more will be the extent of the overlapping i mean to say here the bond between the shell 1 and shell 1 of the bonded atom is stronger than shell 1 and shell 2 of the bonded atom is stronger as the number of shells increases extent of overlapping decreases why because the bond pair of the electron is moving away from the nuclei so that attraction force is going to be minimum and bond is going to be minimum so and also if the shell number is the same and the bond is going to be depend on the penetration and the direction of the orbitals more directional properties of the orbital more is the extent of orbital overlapping and more is going to be the strength of the bond i wanted to say a sigma bond formed between pp orbital is more than sp overlapping is more than ss overlapping and also s orbital are spherically symmetrical only the show only head on overlapping while on the other hand p orbitals has directional uh, so that uh, the electron cloud is directionally concentrated so it should have the higher extent of overlapping should give the strongest bond and also <coughs> formation of a sigma bond sigma bond is formed by axial overlapping of the atomic orbitals so this is of two types ss orbital can overlap and sp overlapping and pp overlapping so s orbital and s orbital this is called sigma ss overlapping this is what you say sigma ss overlapping and s orbital s orbital this is a sigma s orbital and p orbital sigma sp overlapping and p orbital and p orbital that is called sigma pp orbital so these are formation of the head on overlapping or coaxial overlapping because the bonding is taking place the overlapping is taking place along these bond axis so the axis which pass through the nuclei of the bonded atoms is called as a bond axis and the bond is taking place along the axis the bond is taking place is along the axis the bond is taking place in the along the axis so it is called as an axial overlapping you can also say once the axial overlapping is formed this is called molecular axis or the bond axis there is a collateral overlapping that is what you can say unsymmetrical so uh, unsymmetrical pi bond so the formation of pi bond is always takes place when the sideways overlapping the orbitals comes and close like this so this bond is known as pi bond and also you can say head on overlapping is stronger than lateral sideways overlapping always memorize based on this you can expect a question from the neat examination bachcho pp overlapping is greater than sp overlapping is greater than ss overlapping first when you talk about the bond energy i just want to give you a simple trick rule 1 bond energy is directly proportional to n principal quantum number so if n is the same use rule 2 so in the rule 2 we can say bond energy talks about s s is less than s p is less than p p if the n is the same then only you can use this rule 2 and based on that i can say so far in the neat examination a couple of times questions has been asked mind it and also you can say uh, this which of the following overlapping is not possible properly i can say the overlapping orbital should come in appropriate orientation if the orientation is not good the overlapping is not taking place so this s orbital and the p orbital 
cannot have the overlapping in this direction and internuclear axis <coughs> is say x and repulsion increases, potential energy increases, stability decreases. Also in S orbital, psi with the positive through but uh, P orbital is positive or negative, the overlapping is going to be 0 in this case. So that it is not at all possible. And also you can see this unusual directional overlapping is not possible. And similarly, minus n plus and minus n plus never be possible. And it can be between the plus and plus and minus and minus can be possible. And this is very important. And let us talk about the limitations of this valence bond theory. In this limitation of valence bond theory, you can say it fails to explain how oxygen is paramagnetic. And also it fails to explain electron diffusion compounds and also a metallic bond. And also it lacks of mathematical explanation, quantitative explanation about the valence of bond theory and the covalent bond formation during that time quantum mechanics is also uh, developing and this theory cannot explain the quantum mechanical model of an atom. So, today we had a discussion about total postulates of valence bond theory and you just go through these postulates based on these postulates and the conditions you will be having an assertion reasoning statement based questions and logic oriented questions from the NEET examination. And I hope you will enjoy this session. Stay tuned for, for such type of sessions. So, every day a short session with a very important topic. Okay, please like and share with your friends these sessions and subscribe to Infinity Land YouTube channel. Thank you. Happy New Year.